A spring bender is a large spring. This spring can be placed over outside of the pipe. We can also insert the spring inside the pipe to bend the pipe. When you insert a flexible spring into a pipe or over a pipe, it supports the pipe's surface. We can then start bending the pipe manually, around our knee. The spring prevents the pipe from bending too much or breaking. Depending on the spring position there are two types of spring benders, external spring bender, and internal spring bender. The spring benders are used according to the size of pipe. We need to select right size of the spring bender according to size of the pipe. For example, external spring bender is used on pipes with a diameter less than 0.6 inches. Internal spring bender is used for a diameter in the range of 0.6 inches to 0.8 inches. So, we should always measure pipe diameter before using spring bender. The spring bender cannot bend pipes larger than 0.8 inches. This is because we cannot bend thick and strong pipes by hand. External spring bender is inserted externally over the pipe. This is why it is called external spring bender. On an external bending spring, the tapered end is wider. This makes it easier for us to insert the pipe inside the spring. Let us see how to use them for bending pipe. Feed the pipe into the spring via the wider tapered end. Apply pressure to the ends of the pipe and gently form the desired bend. Note that bending too quickly or powerfully will result in wrinkled pipe. The image shows a wrinkled bend. Slide the spring off the pipe. If you find this difficult, try twisting as you pull to loosen the spring. Internal spring bender is inserted internally into the pipe. This is why they are called internal spring bender. The tapered end of an internal bending spring is slightly thinner. This allows you to feed the spring into the pipe with these. Internal pipe bending spring will have a ring on one end. This allows you to attach a piece of wire or string to it. This makes it easy to retrieve the spring after each use. Feed the spring into the pipe via the narrower tapered end. Make sure you leave a ring end out so that you can retrieve it again afterwards. If you need to insert the pipe bending spring all the way into your pipe, attach a piece of strong string or wire to the ring end. We can pull the spring out with the help of string or wire. Locate the place where you want to bend. Place it against your knee. Gently pull back on the ends of the pipe until the desired angle is created. Retrieve your spring from inside the pipe. Recall that twisting the spring while removing helps loosen the spring. A spring bender is very easy to operate than other bending tools. We only need to insert the spring into the tubing or over the tubing. A spring bender can cause injury to the user's knees if bending is a daily occurrence. Also, bending spring cannot bend pipes larger than 0.8 inches. These pipes are too thick and strong to bend solely by hand. The blueprint is the map of HVAC system. It is used to find angle of the pipe bend. External spring bender is used on pipes with a diameter of less than 0.6 inches. Internal spring bender is used for a diameter in the range of 0.6 inches to 0.8 inches.